CD Lamb did Jalen Ramsey wild dirty today. Wild dirty. But question, is Maurice Kennedy going to be a starter? He might. <laughs> people it's your boy mr rome cowboys fan talk right back like i never left what's good with y'all man i know y'all was tuned into that practice i was heavy on that cowboys youtube channel tuned in we didn't get the best angles there's a whole lot of cutaways but it was a lot of good stuff to see man a lot of good stuff to see it was what you know what i like this scrimmage practice thing with the rams way better than the hall of fame game just from the stuff I heard, the things going on, like the Hall of Fame game did have some good things too, don't get me wrong, but I did like this scrimmage with the Rams um, to give us an idea of what's going on with this team. Um, first and foremost, let me just get this out the way. C.D. Lamb is a savage. I don't care what y'all want to say. I see people trying to downplay it. No. Jalen Ramsey got put in the spin cycle and crossed up like he was on a basketball court. He got spun so bad, he got went right off the camera. Y'all gonna, you know, I'm telling you, CeeDee Lamb is gonna be an animal this year. And everybody in the division that's trying to front, keep fronting. Keep fronting. You know what's crazy, though? I I would have y'all be scared if it was just CeeDee Lamb you had to worry about. But it's not. Amari Cooper is on deck. And before I even get too far into this, Michael Gallup is still mossing people, too. Yes, he did one of their corners wild dirty today, too, with the fade to the back of the end zone. This team is going to be, you know, the offense is going to be crazy. And before y'all get all hype, and I know everybody that's going to be like, yo, is Dak all right? Let me go ahead and say, Todd Archer was answering questions before the scrimmage on um, Twitter. You know he tapped in. Um, basically, they said that they thought the injury was going to be a few days. I did, too. I'm guilty. Um, it's going to be about two weeks. And he said something in the tweet that kind of, I forgot. Like, this is the crazy thing. It feels like it's been six months since Dak's shoulder injury. It hasn't even been a full two weeks yet. Like, can the man rest? It's like something going down in a game and then not letting the dude get enough rest, seeing if he's ready to play by Wednesday, and they just played on Sunday. Like, it hasn't even been a full two weeks yet, left, I mean, yet, and... Everybody been tripping. And I'm guilty too. So everybody relax. Todd said, um, per his tweet, um, he's probably going to throw a little bit next week. Probably won't play versus Arizona. He's already saying it. But they plan on him playing in the third preseason game, which is normal. And everybody going to calm down. So it's all good. It's all good. Relax. Relax. But let me get some other props out today. Connor Williams. Connor Williams, man. Y'all better put some respect on Connor's name. Because Connor get dirt on his name all the time. I've been guilty. Other people have been guilty. Always hating on Connor. He's the weak link. Blase, blase, blase. All he did today was block the best D lineman in the league. One on one. Gave him so much work that Aaron Donald started a light brush up at practice. A little fight. Because he was tight because he got blocked by Connor Williams one on one. Don't be mad, Aaron. Everybody can't take an L, man. You know what I'm saying? The character of a man is how do you respond off that L? Apparently, you was tight. But I like that, man. I like that Connor just puts his head down, continues to work, man. He's been going at guard. They've been having to run things at center. And I don't think he's going to be the center. I think that's Tyler's job to lose. But I do like that they're getting him reps. They're getting McGovern reps. You know what I'm saying? This is contingency plans. You know, be it as go down. You slide Connor to the right. You bring McGovern in, you great. And to give, to be honest, McGovern was out there trying to get some work versus Donald. He didn't have a day like Connor did, you know, a, a complete one-on-one -on -one block. But he was out there trying to hold his own. So respect to him too, man. Respect, man. It was a little chippy today too, man. Whoever that dude is for the Rams that took a swing at Tony Pollard, you were cornball and you soft. Because after you swung at him, you're going to run. You wild soft. You know what I'm saying? But, um... I like today, man. I like today. I like the things I'm seeing. But before I go forward, 
Maurice Canada. He a, he a starter, right? Look, y'all heard me. I've been giving the props. I've given all the props to Jordan Lewis. Because he he's a pretty decent slot corner. It is what it is. He's decent. You know, he graded well on PFF. I was like, we might be set at slot corner. But play is play. And I hate when players lose their job to injury, but, you know, big game James said it. I'm with him. It's Diggs, Boss Man, Canada. Them the top three corners now. I'm sorry. I was arguing early about this, and I might make a whole video about the cornerbacks. Like, that might be coming. Um, it's just too much other stuff to talk about right now. But right now, that cornerback room is getting a little dicey, just as far as, like, not dicey isn't bad. Like, it's real battles. Like, that's the biggest battle coming out of training camp right now, the cornerback room. Maurice Canada, I'm, I'm, yo, he's a starter. Just look, his play, he's getting interceptions, pass breakups. He showed up in the Hall of Fame game. He, he showed up with an interception today on Matthew Stafford, an incredible interception, mind you. Like, what else do we need to see? Like, we were talking earlier in the offseason about we need a veteran corner. And I'm like, yo, should we bring in Richard Sherman? Should we go up to him? Should we go? And we already had somebody right there. Remember, candidate opted out last year because of COVID. He was already on the team. That's crazy. And we ain't give him no respect. But look, he's he he comes from the Baltimore Ravens tutelage. As far as some of his cornerback skills, he was over there with them. You know what I'm saying? And he apparently he been coached up, man. He is ready. He is ready. His instincts are A1 right now. He all over the field when it comes to playing corner. I want him out there. He got a little bit of length, too. Like, I'm liking it. Now, I'm not saying I want him outside. That's 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 um, boss man's job and Diggs' job, you know. But I want Canada in the slot now. I'm sorry, Lewis. I ain't saying Lewis got to get cut off the team. But if y'all been around with me for a while, y'all know me. I, my favorite thing to say during the season is you're going to have to show me. Canada is showing me. Period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? So, look, I'll wrap this up real quick. C.D. Lamb is a beast, like top five in the league beast. He just spun the best corner in the league around like a spin cycle. You know what I'm saying? Maurice Canada is a starter and put some respect on Connor Williams' name. But, look, these just some quick thoughts, man, I'm sure. I'm forgetting some things. Like I always do, man. Y'all let me know in the comments. And look, man, I can't wait for the the, 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 the part two. Let's get it, man. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow.